Villagers are dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. More on that later. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, aka Benny P, with another Minecraft Bedrock video. And today we're back on the Guild Rock SMP, and we are gonna be doing some fun stuff today. Uh, working on our base build some more. Also, uh, a brand new trading hall that I've done uh, with Acadia Wolf. Uh, we've been working on this together and I'll show it to you guys here shortly. One last thing we have to do is go to the shopping district and plot out some land. More to come on that later. So in between episodes, we did some work on the build. We expanded a little bit and we made this platform bigger. And then also uh, we added some more columns. So now it's three columns long and three columns wide. I do want to change out these sea lanterns for some frog lights. So we'll have to go to the shopping district to do that. All right, we're here in the shopping district. I'd like to check this shop first to see if I can get some netherite to make us sell some netherite gear. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Looks like they're all sold out. Okay, we might have to do a netherite mining session here in a little bit to get some netherite gear, maybe next episode. All right, we finally made it to the shop we were looking for, the frog shop, and here they sell frog lights. So let's buy a few of these and a couple of these and a few of these so i tried the yellow frog lights i don't really like those they don't really fit well here i think we're gonna go with the pearlescent frog lights those look really nice yeah i definitely like the way those look the other ones i don't like the way this turned out I don't like the red nether brick that doesn't work well here and definitely changing out this yellow frog light as well. So what we decided to do instead is use some deep slate tile walls uh, to put around this pearlescent light just to give it some more design kind of look. And yeah, this is what we have now. I like the way it looks. And after some more work, this is what we have now. We have kind of added some more frog lights and done this kind of interesting design on each column, as well as added some stair blocks to the top to kind of square it off. As promised, here is the trading hall. So uh, we've done a couple things here. We have this row of guys that trade us for iron. So we have the toolsmith and uh, the armor guys and all those other guys um, because this is also an iron farm. So you see we have all this iron and that all comes from up top down here. So let's go this way. I'll show you the iron farm real quick. If we go up here, you can see up here we have a spawning platform for iron golems. And this provides us with iron that we can use to trade. Something else you may or may not know about trading halls is if you build them around a zombie spawner, you can get discounted trades. So all of these librarian villagers sell us books for one emerald. We can even buy bookcases for one emerald and sell the books back to these guys to get unlimited emerald. Also, we we have this sugarcane farm that we are using temporarily just to get some extra sugarcane. Uh, I know our guild has a better sugarcane farm than this, uh, but this is just a really simple setup with uh, some dispensers and some bone meal. And then on top, you'll see we just have a line running to pistons. And if we flip this guy on right here, you will see it works perfectly fine and we get tons of sugarcane. Again, this is kind of a temporary thing. We might end up tearing this down, but you'll see that it works pretty well you'll also see we have all of these clerics and these guys are good for trading for some lighting blocks uh, a lot of different things but especially bottles of enchanting and this has something to do with the shop we'll be putting together later but we're definitely going to need all of these bottles of enchanting all right back to the shopping district this is going to be where we put our shop right here so right under this this is a part of uh the elytra that water thing up there is a part of the Elytra course but we're gonna put our shop right here and so we need to start marking out some area and that should be good I uh, think this is definitely a large enough area for us to build what we need to build I need to take down all this scaffolding and glass blocks so I'll break that down real quick last thing to do here is plant a sign claiming this for Rome Unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching this video. And if you did enjoy it, please hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. All that really helps the channel. Thank you guys so much. Bye!